Hi, welcome to Yin Yoga Stars. We're going to get started in a deer pose. So for deer pose, we're going to bring the right leg forward. And you're going to open your right knee at about a 90 degree angle. And then the key is your back leg, your left knee is also bent. So the left shin is flush with the left side of your yoga mat. And you always have the option of using a block if you like, and you can place that underneath your right hip. And as you're ready, you'll just begin to fold and melt out over your front right leg, right shin. And this might be a good opportunity as well to grab a block and you can place that right underneath your forehead. So throughout this series, throughout this program, feel free to use your blocks and your bolsters whenever it feels right so that you're well supported. And by being supported, you can allow the musculature of your body to release to relax and to soften. If you happen to be new to this practice of yin yoga, we hold the majority of these poses about three to five minutes. And always good at the beginning of your practice is to give yourself permission that you deserve this and to ultimately allow the life force and the intelligence that exists inside of you to bring you back to balance, to homeostasis. So as we begin to create some distance and space between us and the events of our day, we allow ourselves to melt the tension out of the body we dissolve stress out of the mind, slow the brain waves down, and giving our, our nervous system the opportunity to downshift. And by doing that, promoting a really, really good night's sleep. See if you can allow that wave of breath to just gently move in and out through the nose. You don't have to breathe heavy. But as you do breathe, you can allow the breath to drop all the way down into the belly, into your lower back. And you can also breathe into where you feel the stretch taking place. For most of us, that's going to be in that right hip. This might be a good time as well to set an intention for you in this program for these 28 days that you're moving through the Yin Yoga Sleep Well program. What inspired you to do this? What inspired you to move through this? Feel free to set that intention. And then just let it go and trust that it will grow and evolve and awaken in its own perfect natural way. Beautiful from here, nice and easily begin to transition 
And we'll keep the lower body as is, so you're still facing the top of your yoga mat. And we're gonna come into what we call the deer twist. So take the right hand and bring it over to the right, wherever it feels right. Take the left hand, place it somewhere on that outer right knee, right thigh. And then on and inhale, lift up tall through the chest. You elevate through the spine. And then on the exhale, just begin to peel the right chest, right shoulder open. Feel free, if you like, to close the eyes. Traditionally, we know about the yin and the yang, and yang means light and yin means shade. So as much as possible, just allowing yourself to slip into the shade of your own mind as you draw your attention, you draw your awareness inward. And as the Persian poet Rumi said, do you make regular visits with yourself? So important within our life that we carve time out of our busy schedules to come back to these practices where we slow down and we deepen our relationship to ourselves, whether it's through yin yoga or through meditation pay those regular visits with ourselves so that we bring that quality of compassion and kindness to our own bodies. And therefore this becomes a doorway into a, a greater state of health and wellness. Go ahead and give that one last little twist, one last little gentle squeeze. Turn the gaze forward, slowly uncoil, unwrap out of the twist. And then you'll just lean and shift the weight a little more into that outer right hip as you swing your left leg all the way forward towards the top of your yoga mat. From here, we're gonna lift the right foot up, right ankle, and we're gonna place it right on top of that left knee, left thigh. And then you're gonna bend your left foot so it comes underneath the right knee, right thigh, setting up for in yin yoga, what we call the fire log pose. Now, a couple of alternatives for this one, you can always grab a block. You can sit on top of that block, sometimes helps people out. You can place the block between the knee and the foot. Or you always have the option of simply crossing the right shin right in front of the left shin. So see what feels right for your body you may do something different than what I'm doing, and that's exactly the way that it should be. As you're ready, just begin to fold out over. And again, feel free to use your blocks, feel free to use your props. You can create a tower of support to come underneath the forehead, whatever feels right for you. As you just begin to melt, melt into the pose.
Take a last few breaths there. Good, and nice and easily taking your time. Slowly begin to ease your way out of the pose, transition up and out. And then we'll bring the feet flat on the ground, spread the feet out about the width of the shoulders, knees to the sky, hands behind you. And then windshield wiper those knees side to side. As the knees go one way, allow the gaze to turn the opposite way. Just a nice little counter stretch to that deep hip stretch that you just did. And then we'll bring the knees back to neutral and then we'll come into the deer pose on the other side. So left leg forward to the top of the mat. Left leg bending about 90 degrees. You're bending the back right knee and this time the right shin is flush to the right side of your yoga mat. Maybe a prop to go underneath your left hip if you like. And then just begin to fold out over that front leg. And in this pose, we get into the connective tissues around that outer left hip. And remember, as we spoke about in the introduction, in this practice throughout this whole program and series, just want to invite you to never overly effort into the pose, to just allow yourself to surrender to gravity to allow the musculature of the body to release so that you can really, really, really compassionately get into the deep fascia of the body. As we move through these 28 days, of course, each practice will do four times seven practices for four weeks. And just speaking to the power of repetition, when we come back and repeat these practices, that repetition begins to create a, a greater potency and power where the connective tissues open up a little bit more. Tensions begin to erode away a little bit more. Famous artist Claude Monet famously spent 35 years going to the same location and painting the same water lilies day after day, year after year. But every day was a little bit different. The light was a little bit different. And you see that reflected within those beautiful paintings. In yin yoga, we might call this Zen beginner's mind. So even if you've done these poses or these practices multiple, multiple times, when you bring true presence to the moment, every experience is unique and special. So allow yourself to really, really attune to the uniqueness of the sensation that you're feeling right now and the effects that the pose is having on you, physically, mentally, emotionally.
Take a last couple breaths there. Good, and then begin to exit out of that, dear. And then we'll come into the deer twist. So left hand to the outside, over to the left, right hand to the outer left knee, left eye. Take an inhale, pull up tall through the sternum. And then on the exhale, turn into the twist. Again, feel free to close the eyes if you like. Take these last few breaths here. See if you can feel that positive touch all the way down to the lower back, to the kidney band. Chinese medicine, the kidneys are where the jing is stored, our life essence and vitality. And the more that we preserve that jing, the greater our lifespan is. For these 28 days, we're just giving ourselves the opportunity to restore, to replenish, to recharge those energetic batteries. One last squeeze, goodbye. Turn the gaze forward, slowly unwind. Swing that right leg all the way forward and out. And lift that left foot up, place that on top of that right knee, right thigh fire log pose on the other side this is a deep hip stretch if this variation feels like it's too much then just modify make it work for you as you're ready just begin to fold over and down coming into the first phase of the yin pose is always to find the edge not too much not too little but just right Second phase is to find stillness. Third phase is to just allow time to do its thing.
a nice and easy transition up and out, fire log pose. Uncross the legs again, feet flat. Do another round of those windshield wipers as you're ready. Good, from here, go ahead and recline all the way down onto your back. Extend the left leg forward and then draw your right knee, right thigh into your belly. Take your right arm, extend that over to the right. And with the left hand on the outer right knee, go ahead and guide the right knee all the way over to the left. And then from here, we'll bend the left foot in, reach down, grab the left foot with your right hand, coming into cat pulling its tail pose. If you like, you can always grab a block, place that underneath your inner right knee. And just allowing your lower back again to get that healing touch. Feel the right shoulder blade like a heavy paperweight anchoring downward. Feel those brain waves slowing down more and more and more. Release the tail so the left leg straightens. Bring the right knee all the way back up to neutral. And then bend both knees back into the belly. Give a little squeeze. Extend the right leg forward along the floor. Take the left arm, reach that out to the left. And then allow that left knee to drape all the way over to the right. And then you can bend that right foot, reach down, grab that with that left hand. Cat pulling its tail pose on the other side.
And then go ahead and release the right leg back towards straight. Shift the left knee all the way back up to neutral. And then from here, we'll come into a final resting pose by extending the legs out. Open the arms out. Close the eyes as if you're just laying down somewhere in a big grassy meadow underneath the big open empty sky at nighttime with millions and millions of stars in the sky. Let yourself dissolve into stillness. And nice and easily just begin to move the fingertips and the toes. Bend the knees back into the belly. And you can either roll onto the side or do a little gentle rock and roll all the way up to seated. And eventually as you come up, bring in the hands to prayer position in front of your chest, in front of your heart allowing the forehead to lightly bow down, keeping the eyes closed, just as a gesture of sealing the practice. Sleep well, dream well, and namaste.